Hello, hello, it's been a long time, and here I am, back in Peace Home Studio. Well, I've always been in Peace Home Studio, but I just didn't want to film for a little while. And here is why. Well, okay, first of all, there's a dog here. He got here around Thanksgiving, and his name is Andy. Andy! Andy, are you photogenic? Dogs, dogs, dogs on film. Dogs on film. Okay, he's a real handful. He is a real handful. And he's finally house trained. Yay! Oh, my carpets are so glad. But I still have to barricade him out of some of the bedrooms because carpet, grass, they're both soft and they apparently need to be peed on. So we're just going to kind of cover our bases until we get that one down. But I'm so proud of him. Also, um, we got a new bed. I had an office, which was originally a bedroom, and now it's a bedroom again because we wanted to have it available for any uh, moms that needed to come over, especially during the pandemic. Been spending a lot of time here at home. I kind of like that. I'm weird like that so the reason I didn't do videos for a while is because it stopped being fun I didn't like doing them because it took all day I got more and more picky as time went by and it started taking up too much time and I really just wanted to sew and and make things so I kind of quit doing it but I miss you guys and also hey I miss the people out there Kathy and Kimmy in Georgia um, um, Dawn and Charlie Charlie's a girl in Amarillo Texas hey 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 and lots of people in Amarillo Texas all my am friends uh, you know who you are let's see who else can we say hi to that we haven't heard from in a long time oh I have a new friend who is my neighbor neighbor Brenda hello neighbor Brenda neighbor Brenda brought over a movie just before we all went into lockdown the greatest showman now I don't know if you've seen any more of my videos on YouTube but there was one where I talked about circusy things really like circusy things as long as they don't get too creepy but I like that whole Victorian feel that goes along with them that was the best movie ever I loved it I you ever watch a movie and your eyes start to kind of burn because you can't, you, you realize you haven't blinked in a long time? Except my eyes were like kind of rimmed with tears the whole time because it was so sweet and it was so beautiful. I know there are a lot of you out there that are crazy, crazy for that movie. Now I see why. The music was fantastic. The costumes were fantastic. I loved the story. Yeah, it wasn't exactly P.T. Barnum's world. I'm sure, you know, he was not exactly Hugh Jackson. But it was a great movie. I loved it so much. I'd love to own it, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime t uh, soon. Not going to bother with ordering it to come in here. But, okay, it's all right. There's plenty to do. Guys... I know a lot of people have been watching television, YouTube, Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime is one of my favorites, uh, Hulu, all kinds of, of streaming television and, you know, some things on cable. There's nothing, there's very little that's sweet to watch. I usually watch a lot of um, documentaries so that I don't see things about people getting shot and killed all the time. It just, it wears on my heart. It makes my heart kind of sad. So I've been trying to watch nice things. But honestly, the last thing that I watched that was really nice was a show. I think it was from PBS Cranford. And it's a story by, uh, it's based on a book written by, I can't remember. I should be more prepared. But if I prepare, I end up doing this all day. But it was really, really sweet. Just about a group of friends in a small town in England, of course. Back around Victorian times, of course. But I love that show because the characters are sweet. You know, 
maybe it's a little pedestrian to like Jane Austen, but I love that kind of thing where people are sweet to each other and, and selfishness is scorned, you know, and pettiness is, mm, nobody wants to be a part of that. Jane Eyre, I love that, that book because she has good moral strength and she sticks to her guns. Not literally guns, but her beliefs all the way through the story. I love that. All right, so uh, you've met Andy, Andy the dog. Andy is so bad, but we love him. And then we've also got uh, <laughs> bunnies. Of course, of course. Here's a bunny. Oh, where did her hat go? Well, you know I was making sock bunnies and sock, I mean sock, sock monkeys. Duh. I should have brought them in. Hang on, I'll go get them. Okay, hang on. Hang on, here it comes, here it comes. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, bunnies there and monkeys here. All right. Monkeys, sock monkeys, sock monkeys, sock monkeys in clown costumes. Say it ain't so. And here is, wait, is this his hat? No, where's his hat? <laughs> All right, sock monkeys in clown costumes with hats. Oh, the adorableness. Look, oh, there's little tiny Rick Rack at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I love the little tiny Rick Rack. I also put little circles on his costume. Oh, I'm sorry, he's way over there. Oh, look, it's so darling, and the little collar. I love the little collar, and the, the hat, the hat you can turn inside out. It depends on, you know, what uh, mood you're in. If you're in a more polka dotty mood, you can turn it inside out, and it's a little polka dotty hat with stripes. I had the best time making these. Of course, I got the socks from the sock company uh, Fox River and you order uh, they'll just send you a bulk order of several I don't know there were like 10 to 12 socks in there for a low rate and that's what you want here's his tail oh my so cute I have another one because I had socks galore socks 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 all I need is a fox for the socks Here's another guy. I got more polka dots. I love the polka dots. We've got red rickrack on the bottom. The rickrack I got at a craft reuse place. It's a thrift store for crafts that neighbor Brenda showed me and we went and I loaded up on all the goodies. Very cheap, very nice, great people. Also a hat that goes both ways. Look, Andy loves. Andy loves the dolls. See? Do, do, do. I love it. I love it. And, of course, see, he's got little uh, green buttons, but we can turn it over. Stop it. Don't bite. Biting is bad. Here we go. Now we've got red buttons on the front. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I have them at my Etsy store yet because uh, I think I've just had like a time of a, a little hiatus. So anyway, I had those. And in the spirit of socks and Easter, of course, I made a sock bunny. Oh, a sock bunny. A sock bunny. She's got a lovely little dress. As you can see, it's got lace around the top. Oh, it's so pretty. I made her a little cape. And wait for it. Wait for it. A little beret. What? Oh, no. It's a little beret. <laughs> Oh, and she has a fluffy little tail hanging out in the back because we love it. Lace on her matching bloomers. Mm. Now, 
I had a bunny that was not making me happy. I don't know if you remember Papa Bunny, who was uh, in my Etsy store. Some of you do, some of you don't. That's fine. But he wasn't, I don't know, he just hadn't lived up to expectations for me. So I redid him. I totally changed his face. I redid that. I gave him some blush, made him a precious little dress, gave him some sweet little raglan bows on the top, and now he's a she. Dolls are wonderful. They can be whatever you want them to be. Some precious little bloomers underneath, and this fabric is fabulous. I got it as a, as a fat quarter from Walmart of all places. That may be the only place we can get things right now as far as walking in somewhere, but I don't, I don't recommend you do that. The internet is for us now. The internet loves us and it wants to mail things to our house like fabric and buttons and dog medicine. Oh, I have a little dog hair in my nose. Dog medicine and beds. We ordered a bed. We ordered a bed through Amazon and it came in a box and it is the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in. Remember the days when you got a bed, when you got came into money or someone gave you, you know, like your grandmother. My grandmother was a big one for uh, getting, having old beds and having the mattresses reworked like every 20 years or something. The woman never threw anything away. She was very big on that. Those were the kind of beds I had forever. We ordered a bed and it came in a box and we put it up, took down the old one, put up the new one in an hour and a half and it's fabulous. It didn't cost that much. It didn't cost hardly anything. And when you compare it to the beds of old, it was a steal and it's like a superior bed and it's way up high off the floor so I can put things under it dogs love it. This dog loves to go underneath things. Sometimes I'm like, Andy, Andy, where are you? Where did you go? And he comes out from under something. Uh, we also had fun playing with the boxes. Uh, the dog really likes to go in things. I think he's his breed, or he's not really a breed, but his mix of breeds are the kind that like to go under and you know, chase little varmints out of holes outside. But, oh, and that is another thing I wanna say before I go. Andy came from a humane shelter. It is the best thing you could ever do. Go find a friend, go rescue a friend today. And the backup network for those guys is out of sight. I even have an app on my phone to keep up with his appointments make appointments. It even tells you little things about what he should be doing at a certain age. It's been very encouraging. I feel like there's a network of people supporting me and our dog and our love. He is bad, but in a very good way. So anyway, I'm going to try and make more of these because again, we really need to encourage each other right now. All we ever get is really bad, scary news. But just remember, you got people that care, call them up, send them a card, send them a flower, make a silly video, click, you know, things on their Facebook and let them know that you're thinking about them because I think it's a time to get back to our friends even though we can't be together in person. I've kind of spent more time like on the phone and on the on the web on my uh on the internet with people I really love. It's kind of strange, isn't it? take time to do those things. It always brings a huge reward. And uh, visit my Etsy store if I ever get it straightened out. I'm probably going to mark every, there's no, not very much on there, but I'm going to mark it way down. Oh, and one more thing. I am making some, a, a different style of doll right now. Oh, I love it. Uh, this is one of my, you know, books that I get in the used bookstore. McKay's! Uh, this was The Woman's Day Book of Soft Toys and Dolls by Joan Russell. And it's kind of a thick book. And I came across this, and I, when I first got it, I just sort of, you know, flew past it. Didn't, didn't pay a lot of attention to it. 
But these are the sweetest dolls, and I'm really liking making them. Let's see if I can find a picture of them. Look! It's little women! What? Now, they don't look... They don't look that impressive in the picture. I don't know. I'll try to I'll try to put a better picture on uh, with a cutout. But my gosh, making them I've I've been sewing it by hand because there's so many little you know you you want their little faces to turn out nice and not lumpy and weird, and their little hands to turn out nice. This is I love it. I love it. And there's also. A, uh, a pattern for Alice in Wonderland. Now, it looks a little 70s, their faces and stuff, but, you know, you can work with that. A lot of times, these are great. There are great resources and great patterns, but then you take them and you make them your own. You do your own thing with them, and that's what I love to do. So I am very excitedly working on that. Uh, it doesn't look like much now, but it will, and I will definitely post pictures, but hopefully I will have a video again next week or sometime. No promises. We don't like fun to turn into work. If I had wanted a miserable job, I would have stayed with the Department of, uh, of Revenue. Not a fun job. People don't like when you call them. There's good to be found. Bake something from scratch. Make something from scratch. Remember what I always say, don't run to the store for everything. Well, now <laughs> we can't. Dig in your stuff and make do. Make do and make excellent. Love you guys. Bye.